good, everybody? It's your boy Santo G, man. Back at it. Like always, spreading unity, prosperity, and respect, man. Above all. So today, man, I wanted to bring a Mystery Tuesday for you guys. So I've been watching everything that's been unfolding at Lake Mead. Pretty much four bodies have been found since the drought of this year. There hasn't been a lot of rain. It's been a lot of heat. So there's a drought that caused the water from the lake to significantly evaporate and start draining pretty much. So due to this, they found four bodies already, two of them in barrels and two of them, you know what I mean? Just uh, their skeletal remains uh, scattered throughout the lake. So the first one has already been identified and he has mob ties and I believe he's been missing for over 30 years, over 30, 40 years. So it's a lot of a mystery right there, you know, um, was Lake Mead the dumping ground for the mob? It's not that far away from Vegas, you know what I mean? It's in the middle of all these cities that back then in those years we knew the mob was famous and infamous for burying bodies in the desert. Now you got this Lake Mead, you know, um, where they also dumping bodies there too. It's already four bodies, man. Four bodies. And this year is barely like halfway over, you know? I can only imagine how many more bodies are there, you know? And this kind of reminds me of what happened at Lake Paris. For those of y'all who are from the California area, you know what I mean? LA, Valley, you know what I mean? Uh, wherever you might be, if you're in Cali and you know of Lake Paris and Moreno Valley, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, me personally, my family used to go out there all the time. We used to go out there every summer when I was young. And I didn't even know till being in the system, being locked up with a couple of homies from Maravilla, from Paris Maravilla and a couple of hoods out there. They told me like, man, uh, there used to be all kinds of dead bodies either being thrown there or being dumped there or people just disappearing in that lake. So since then, <laughs> I've been out and I have not once set foot in Lake Paris or even think about going to Lake Paris just because of what I was told. You know what I mean? That there's all kinds of dead bodies in that lake. And to me, to be honest, I was just like, oh man, it's stories, you know, but seeing what's unfolding with this Lake Mead leads me to believe that, you know what I mean? A lot of those stories are probably true. I can only imagine how many more bodies are in this lake, you know? And I've also been watching the Adventures with Purpose when they go with the sonar and they scan the lakes and any water streams looking for people and the stuff that they uncover, you know, how many cars they uncover and stuff like that. And like I said, it, it leads me to believe that a lot of those stories are true, you know. So without further ado, man, uh, I just wanted to share those stories with you guys. Um, let's get into this video and see what's going on in Lake Mead, you know. Boy Santo G, I appreciate each and one of you guys being here with me, man. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, man, and let's get it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, what you guys have heard. Share your stories with me, man. I'm sharing my stories with you. Share your stories with me in them comments, man. Let's get it. We are uncovering new details about the human remains found inside of a barrel at Lake Mead. It comes less than 48 hours after a fourth set of human remains are found. Fox 5's Danny Mastin with more on how new information about that first body that you'll only see on Fox 5. 
John, those first set of skeletal remains washed up onto, onto shore here inside of a barrel at Hemingway Harbor. Now, I spoke with one woman who tells me her brother went missing about 45 years ago. She says Metro contacted her asking to collect DNA samples as her brother may match the description of the body that was found inside of the barrel. Bob came up missing in, I believe, 1977. And of course, all these years, we've wondered where he's at, if he's alive or dead. I give up on him being alive quite a while ago. This is a picture of Bobby Eugene Shaw. His sister, Barbara Brock, tells me her brother went missing about 45 years ago. She hasn't stopped looking for him since. It's been devastating because I look for every time I go downtown, if I see something that looks like him, you know, you got to look, make sure it's not him, you know. Brock says Metro contacted her and her family back in May when the body in the barrel was discovered. They called me for DNA, so I gave the DNA samples and so did my nephew, and they said they're testing it. I called Metro to find out more. They tell me the time frame of when Bobby went missing also matched the remains possible time frame. Brock tells me her brother was involved with the mafia, which may have had some connection to his disappearance. Metro has told us in the past, this death is a homicide and may be mob related. When we found the first body in the barrel, I just knew it was him. I still feel it's him. In the end, Brock is hoping for some concrete answers. Praying that that's Bob. I really would like to, you know, I, I know he's gone, but it, a definite no one would make me feel better. Metro says because of the condition of the body, they are still several months out from getting those DNA results. Reporting live from Lake Mead, I'm Danny Mastin, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. All right, John. So you guys seen it there. Tell me, what do you guys think? And I'm making this video, man, just for content. You know what I mean? It's Tuesday. Some of you guys probably never heard of this. Like I said, I wanted to share my story with you guys, man. So hit me up in them comments. Tell me what you think, man. Mob dumping ground. So what's going on? You know what I mean? Tell me, have you guys heard of Lake Paris and the stories in Lake Paris? You know what I'm saying? Or is it just stories? Like I said, it was just stuff that was told to me. I don't know. I'm not the police or nothing. I'm not going to go verify anything. But... Just having conversation man i seen this one and i've been keeping up with it and it's just a trip man four sets of body man in the lake how many families go swimming in that lake you know what i'm saying like that's probably a tourist zone you know what i mean where a lot of families go think about the bacteria that's in the water from those bodies you know what i'm saying that's why i never went back to lake paris because it's like, all right, you know, what harm can it do? It could do a lot of harm with bacteria and stuff like that, you know, when it comes into play. Those are the type of places that you're going and it's getting on your body, you know? So that's just my point of view. Let me know what you guys think. Appreciate you guys rocking with me today, man. Tuning in. Like I said, if you're new here and you feel it, you know what I mean? You fuck with my content, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Helps me out get in the algorithm. Don't cost you nothing and it helps this channel out, man. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, you took the time to watch. You could take the time to subscribe and hit that notification bell and hit that like button. Don't be a hater. You know what I'm saying? Boy Santo G, let's get it.